Hello everyone and welcome to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. Today we're going to go over a simple way to remote play test with your multiplayer games. It's one of the features that Pixel Game Maker offers is to have one to four player games, but there's no built-in way to test it remotely. Everything would have to be locally. So we're going to solve that situation today by going to parsecgaming.com and I've loaded up here in Chrome. It's called Parsec and it is for remote playing video games. So what you're going to do is you're going to download the free version right here. There is one for business and for teams, but we can just download this free version and get started. So you're going to download that. When you download it and install it, you're going to have an icon here. Just double click into it. And initially you're going to have to set up a account. It's a free account. And the cool thing is, is that only the host needs the actual program installed. The clients or your teammates, friends or even play testers they do not need to install the program they just need the link that you'll provide here that i'll show you in a second and now that we have the program open we can go to some of these other options so we got arcade this is where you can join people's games that they're hosting and you can also host a game here which we'll get into there's some settings so if you are finding for instance that your clients are lagging a little bit you can come to the host and you can tweak some of these settings to make sure that you are getting the the best server possible for the people joining and then you can have a friends list here and then some basic help all right so now how to get it to work with pixel game maker we can go into our pixel game maker and we can choose a project that we want to play test in this case we're going to play test spell blaster which is a one to two player action puzzler and if we play test that is all the setup that we need to do so we can have live testing while you're in the editor. So once the playtest is rolling, you would go back to Parsec and then here we would go to the arcade tab and we would come down here to want to host a game and we can see that the player, or in our case this is the playtest player, is one of the options. So we can click on it and we can say how many seats we want to add. In this game's example it's one to two players so I'm just going to add a second seat and then I do not want this game to be public. We're just going to play test a little bit, so we'll make it private. And then we can start hosting. So once you start hosting, it says you are now hosting, so you switch over. And then you have a link down here that you can click on, and you can copy, and then you can go to Discord. You can link it to your friend or, your, or the play tester, and then you can start playing. So let's see that in an example here. And we can see that it says that sudo number all those numbers has joined and since he was the first person to do input he took control of player one now if i press the input to spawn player two you can see that now i have joined and now i can play so there's pseudo going around and here's me i can't remember i think pan is the name of this character you can see over here on the left we have some options to do some things adjust some bandwidth reset game pads or stop hosting now I haven't found a way to move this yet, but we can also just go do our thing and we can move across the map. And yeah, so we have a working two player game. All right, so then when you want to be done hosting, you can just click right here and you can say stop hosting and it will stop. And when that happens, obviously this player will not be able to move anymore. And so we'll have to close this game for now. And so next I want to close out of here and I want to test a multiplayer game that comes as a sample project. And that is going to be the cross carrots. So I'm going to add this sample. And then we can see that I think stage one here, you can select your character and it's kind of like a fighting game. So now we're going to try this in uh, Parsec. So once again, we will create the game. We will go to Parsec here, and we will go to host it. Two player host with, we could make it public, see if anyone wanted to join, but I'll just leave it not. Start hosting, grab the link again, and I'll give the link to sudo here. And we will, I will begin, I'll just press any key. And we'll battle. 
And here we go. And you can fight. I want to, okay, here we go. <laughs> so there he goes. We have to learn to, to fight here. Looks like we only get a couple lives, so maybe I'll just... And I should... There we go. Okay, so I won this. And that is it as far as hosting a playtest on Parsec. You will notice that if you go back to it, that it automatically drops your host when you log out of the game. Now, if you wanted to host a build, it would be the same thing. You would open up a file. You would go to the builds, which are usually in documents output. You would double click into playtest, or sorry, the player.exe here. And then what you would do is you would go to Parsec and you'll see that this player now is representing the build. And you can do this with any builds and that is how you would do it. I hope this video was useful as far as showing how we can remote play with multiplayer. It's awesome that Pixel Game Maker has given us the option for one to four players and now we have a way to use it efficiently as well as while we're play testing even. That's amazing. And so with that, I will see you at the next video.